Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with another Steam Early Access first look. Uh, this time we're looking at uh, the early alpha of Shallow Space, which just released a couple of days ago. Uh, now the game is currently going for $17.99, and after October the 29th, we'll jump up to 20 bucks. So definitely pick it up while you can if you are interested in it. Now, the game currently doesn't have a whole lot of features to it. We have the hangar, uh, which allows us to customize our various ships and uh, then chuck them in a fleet. Uh, the skirmish mode is the only one we have currently available, where we will take those ships that we create or build and then uh, send them into little skirmish battles against enemy fleets. So it's essentially an arena RTS at the moment. Now, some interesting things about it would be that all the projectiles in Shallow Space are simulated, so shots can hit or miss. Uh, friendly fire is a possibility, so if we have our guys set up in a... So like, if we have a bunch of guys engaging an enemy and others just bombarding them from behind, we could entirely destroy our own units, which would be unfortunate. Excuse me. There is some uh, detailed ship configuration for each of the various classes, from the uh, corvettes to the capital ships, or the fighters. Uh, five different weapon types will eventually be added into the game. Large variety of systems, including turrets, fixed weapons, AOEs, missiles, and rocket systems. Unfortunately, we don't have any missiles or rocket systems quite yet, but if they will eventually get chucked in there. Uh, same thing for how we deal with the enemy. We may not eventually have to just destroy them. We could potentially disable them using precise weaponry, so we could, say, aim for their weapon ports. Uh, destroying their ability to fight back and causing them to retreat. Which would be interesting. Uh, abilities as well, things like uh, short range jump, patrol, escort, fort shield, afterburner are things that we will unlock uh, by leveling our officers, which currently I believe that is also something not available that will be kind of brought in later on. Uh, fortify your FOB or mission objectives by building uh, structures to negate the enemy's abilities or jump or forge your own terrain by adding status effects to the map. That is actually quite interesting. So essentially right now the game is an arena RTS, but eventually they're trying to turn it into what will be a mission-based instance kind of, uh, what the hell. Very similar to Homeworld in the sense that we will be building stations, turrets, uh, we'll have units that are mining and producing ships, and we'll be attempting to remove the enemy from our areas and protecting our certain points of interest. Uh, this will all be in a fully realized solar system, so I'm assuming we'll be capturing position, various positions in the solar system and kind of extending our control. Uh, how this will be laid out and uh, kind of shown to us will be, we'll have to see how it uh, turns out as we go through development. But you know what, let's just go ahead and hop right in now as I've kind of been just reading off this damn list here. So let's kind of just get into it. Now I've already made a couple of ships in the hangar here. If I go to my saved ships, I already have a couple of XLs. And a few large ships. I have not actually used any of the medium hulls. So this is what we have currently available for our hulls. We have two extra large ships, three large ships, and three medium sized ships. So corvettes, capitals, and destroyer slash cruisers. Now each of these have their own unique kind of setup for how many turrets and support modules they can have. Such as this battleship here. This XL battleship holds much more weapons. Uh, than this little capital ship right here. However, there is a uh, different military uh, point rating before each of them. Like that one's 1500, this one's 13. So it's actually not too bad for that. Let's see here. Sublight speed. So this, this battleship actually has a greater amount of speed. The advantage of the other one would be that it has a greater hull, so it has better survivability. Even though it has less weapon power, it actually has a much greater survivability and uh, scanning radius. So a deep scan would allow it to uh, more easily identify where our enemies are at, which would be chucking one of these duplex scanners onto it. Well, I wouldn't need to increase the deep scan radius. The deep scan radius on the uh, this guy is already quite excessive, so I wouldn't need to add any more. Now, each of these weapon ports can either be fixed or can rotate to fire at the enemy, but they have to have an actual line of sight to fire. So if the enemy happens to be on the other side of this ship, these weapons will not be able to fire. So only what is facing will be able to actually engage. 
Uh, so essentially, this would be about, you know, either the sides for this guy would be the best angle of attack for him if he's just aiming straight down. He's not going to get nearly as much of his weapons at bearing at the enemy, at least his big weapons. Uh, now, I'm not sure exactly what the precise targeting will be capable of eventually, because we don't really have any other subsystems on here that we can currently target, and we can't actually even target the weapons yet, as there are no precise weapons. All we really have at this moment are phasers, plasma weapons, rail guns, and gatling guns. That's it. That's all we have at the moment. So three different types of weapons and just large or XL, and I guess medium variants of those. And a couple of support items. So let's actually take a look. Yeah, fixed plasma, uh, phase, or yeah, phaser, pulse, and fixed phaser. So I guess this one can actually rotate around. Oh yeah, because we have one, this ship type has one turret up top which can rotate. And then the rest are fixed. So we have four fixed guns on the front and one that can rotate around. I actually like this ship design. It's nice. Let's take a look at some of the other smaller ones here. So this guy, let me see, what is his advantage over this one? So he has a much, has a slightly lower MP rating, so we can have more of these guys. Looks like they're faster, sublight speed, than the uh, Corvette here. Or than the Shahit, was it Sheet? Cor uh, Shahit Corvette or something? I'm not even going to pronounce that, it's terrible. It's a heavy Corvette, this one's a medium Corvette, then we got the light Corvette. So we have the various sizes, Cor light cruiser, medium cruiser... And of course, another light cruiser. Okay, there's no heavy cruiser, I guess. Or is this guy considered? No, this guy's considered a capital. Yeah, so we've got two light cruisers and a medium cruiser here. Actually, did I get a? Did I make one of these? I think I did. Yeah. Or did I use this guy? Actually, ooh, I do like the way this one looks. It's got three turrets on it, so this definitely make a really nice frontal, front pointing uh, ship. I don't imagine it would do too well at an angle, but still. Looks pretty good, but let's uh, we're gonna let's focus on the mediums for now here, because I want to get one of these mediums set up for us, so we can kind of get going with the game here. Now this one as well is probably the weakest of the uh, little Corvettes. I can attach only two weapons on it, and that's it. So I'm gonna go with the more heavy heavy Corvette here. Let's go ahead and attach the big guy on here. Yeah, we have no support modules for this one, sadly, so I'll just have to kind of do with do with it as I will. Now, I, I can drag them, each individual one, on here, or if I shift-click... Is it shift-click, or it doesn't work on this one? It must only work for the, uh... Control... Not nope. enough energy. Really? Not enough energy? Not enough energy. Huh. I think it was trying to attach to Not all of them. Not enough energy. How about this then? Yeah, for some reason it was automatically trying to attach it to everything. But because I put uh, this guy up top here, I was not able to make use of that. And I can't chuck these under support either. Yeah, we have no support modules. So eventually we will have a lot more different modules that we will be able to attach to these guys in different uh, hull designs to fully customize our own unique little ships and what we want them to do. So let's just go ahead and save this as... Uh, uh, I'm just gonna call it the mini. Ship configuration. That should be fine. Save. That should be fine. All right, so we'll definitely have to see a lot more variety down the road. Now I have actually set up my colors here with like a dark green, dark blue kind of look here. I can also change the shininess. It's actually incredibly shiny. I want to take away some of that, uh, the metalness and so on. So there's not too too much for the actual markings and hull design stuff yet. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more customization later on where we could add some really interesting details to these uh, ships uh, But anyway, let's go ahead and go back now And we're gonna dive right into the skirmish mode All right, so eventually we will have a full solar system and various instanced missions to send our guys into and I do hope that uh uh, well, there's actually a lot I'd like to see for it, but it depends on how well it would actually work mechanic-wise. Uh, if it's just a simple matter of you're going from one instance mission to another, and if you happen to go back to the same instance mission afterwards, like say the enemy tries to recapture it, I'm not sure if that would even work. Probably not, no, probably not. Uh, but if so, it'd be interesting if your previous structures and stuff were still there, fortifications were still present, but then again, if you beat the enemy one time, 
and they come in and all your fortifications are still there, it would be incredibly hard for them to actually do anything. So I don't think that would work out too well. Anyway, let's just go ahead and hop on in here. Concept Scout. So what is our actual mission here? Small pockets of resistance will be expected hiding in the sector's... Sector furniture. I'm like, what the hell? Furniture? I'm assuming that means various clouds and uh, asteroid fields and such. Enemy strength is poor in this one. Enemy strength is organized. Strength of friendly is none. Let's go with this one here. Let's go into a basic assault mission and kind of pop on in. Let's not screw around too much. So here we have the total amount of MP that we can acquire. And our fleets. So let's go ahead and... What do I want? Let's get Lieutenant Corporal here. So we have four different set fleets that we can kind of set up here. Well, let's go ahead and give this guy my favorite little beast. Yeah, the battleship, the Cambridge battleship. So I'll give him one of those. We'll set up a bunch of these. So I can hold shift click and select a whole bunch of these. And then select the type of ship, drag it in, and it will automatically copy it to all those slots. Let's go ahead and set up a... Well, let me go ahead and give them a... A logo here. Let's go Fox Squad. Actually, th didn't I make one of these? The Foxhound? Yeah, this is the Foxhound. Let me swipe the... Okay, swap those out. Yes, I can. So these guys will be the Foxhound. Let's go ahead and set you up. So each of these commanders have different ranks. And I guess they should have... Oh, let me swipe this guy back in here. They have different capacities for what they can actually contain here. Oh, I can also add the different commanders onto the same squad. Which would be kind of ridiculous here. Huh. I'm wondering 100% how this would actually work out. Because I don't need all these commanders. But I can't take them. Oh no, I can right click and take them off. I'm not sure if they actually add anything to this right now, if each commander would add to their own line or what. As there's not too much of a description about exactly how a lot of that stuff kind of works right now. And let's get the Pathfinders here. Let's give the, another little squad. It automatically, it looks like it automatically sent a commander in there. So we don't need to screw around too much with that. Alright, let's go ahead and give you one of these guys. I will give you, well, I meant you to take all of them actually. And we'll give them a bunch of medium fighters. Alright. Now let's move on to this guy right here. And we'll take another one of my battleship titans here. And this time we'll do a variety. If I can. No, I'm starting to approach the maximum here. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, looks like we're getting there. Get rid of him and I can add one more. There we go. So we've now filled out our fleets. So we have three different fleets. They're not exactly the best fleets in the world. I'm just kind of throwing this all together right now. I could organize different hull types, different weapon varieties with them, and have them engage the enemies they would be best at engaging. But right now we're just going to kind of get thrown into the jumble here and swarm the hell or see how they do. We're, we're trying to see some interesting space battles here, so let's kind of move along. I don't want to keep this going for too, too long. Screwing around here. But yeah, it'll be much more interesting once uh, they get in some of the basic uh, building, on, mining, and kind of... The attack and command kind of stuff there. Or uh, build and command. Alright. Let's get all of you, actually. And have you go towards the main objective there. Well, let's see if they will jump. We are obstructed by this cloud in the center, so I guess we're not able to jump to that destination. Now, let me enable a couple of options here. So right here we have a bunch of different uh, visual toggles that we can do. We can disable show and hide spheres. So we can see these spheres around our character and our uh, scanning radius. So you can see these guys are the battleships that don't have very much of a scan radius. Then we have the big cruiser or the other capital ship here which has a much, much wider scan radius. I can show hide the radar. Oh, did we pick up an enemy? 
paused for some reason. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, we can resume time, pause time, show hide the paths, which they're doing right, which is kind of showing right now as it just pops up every now and then. And let me see what else do we got here. Just simple commands, move, form up, enter or leave flotilla formations. Uh, return targeting. Ships will target only ships that have fired upon the battle group. Auto targeting. They will choose from the closest targets in range. Manual targeting, of course, so we can engage uh, who we want to specifically. Uh, we can target certain certain parts of it. Damage the engines. Uh, damage shields. Damage the systems with precise weaponry, which I'm pretty sure we don't have. Or just damage the hull. Looks like the guys on the right here are starting to slow down a bit. Let's see if any of you guys can jump now. No, we are still obstructed. Five by five. Let's move over this way and see if we can get away from this nebula. And uh, see if that will allow us to jump over to this guy. Now, the problem with, with uh, space games like this is, of course, you have uh, different... What the hell? Converging at indicated point. The different variables where your ships can actually go, like they can go the X, Y, Z everywhere, pretty much. So it's kind of like, how do you create a system where you can properly see, like, am I going anywhere near this? You can see, no, I was way off. I'm actually going way beyond what I was aiming for there. Whoops. And now my camera angle's like way down. Let's try snapping it to them. So why the hell did that suddenly get... Yeah, they're not even remotely going where I want them to go. Uh, so, it could part of it could be that I'm just sucking at the controls. Nope, we cannot jump. Damn, that is annoying. Let's try the individuals and see if they will jump over there. Nope, so we'll just have to wait until they get within range then in that case. Oh well. I have seen them jump before and I don't really know what the conditions are. Like, what am I being blocked by right now? Like, group one here shouldn't be getting blocked by anything yet. We are obstructed. Uh, it could be that we need we can't have a fleet within our radius if we have two different fleets. Let's try jumping you. You're pretty. No, it's not gonna do it either way. Shit. Well, hail. So we have finally spotted an enemy wing. It automatically seems to pause the game every single time you encounter enemy wing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the enemy and see what we got here. So we can look at them and we can get it from, we can usually, well, it's not showing it up this time. Hmm. The last time I actually hovered over an enemy here, it would tell me exactly what kind of weapons and defenses they were using. Although it's nice that it's not telling me now because I, that seemed like a kind of a cheap thing anyway. Alright, you go ahead and flank on You're over to the right here. Point. You get behind them, point. Five by five. and we're going to get them in a triple kind of pincer here. Alright. Damn. It's like I'm trying to control the movement as well as telling them to attack, but it's not quite doing what I want it to do. Alright, let's see if you'll hop on over there. Five by five. I want all of you to move, point. damn it. Nice, we were able to jump in that time. All right, let's get him, boys. What am I? What the hell? Okay. 
That's a bug. Apparently clicking three right now is dragging me back to number one. And number one is dragging me to three. Okay, that's just weird. Alright, so I have them set up now, designated to attack. Let me get rid of some of these so we can kind of enjoy the battle here. You can see that, uh... Let's see here. I think that's just my... Yeah, that's my line. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Now we're engaging. Now we're engaging. Let's pause here for a second if I can. Nice. We can actually see each of the individual projectiles here. We can see each of the uh, weapons actually being aimed. Uh, these guys are currently aiming up towards our uh, units here. If I can... Tell them to target that guy. And for some reason, again, you're still not properly selecting this. It's like these guys aren't going towards what I want them to. I can't, like, I'm holding and dragging the left mouse, but I'm not getting the typical kind of box to select anything right now, which is a bit weird. Oh, there we go. And now it's back again. So there's definitely some slight control issues and a couple of bugs. They are pretty seem pretty minor, though, for the most part. Now, as I said before, each of these bullets are being generated by uh, the engine individually. So it is entirely possible. And again, give me my fucking box, please. There we go. You see, like, I told them to target this right here, but they're not actually doing it. So I'm thinking I'm just having issues with the controls. There we go. Now they should be engaging when I want them to. I hope. Uh, the game, the way this game differs from others like it is in its fleets, essentially. Uh, we're not controlling each individual unit, each individual squad, putting them in squads and having them kind of do their own thing. Although I can uh, select a section of it, at least I should be able to, and have them... Okay, it's not letting me do it outside of real time, or I guess. No, it's still not letting me do it. Weird, I was able to do that before. I'm having issues here. Huh. Well, before I was able to select each individual uh, section of the wing, like right there, I was able to finally do it. And I can tell them to engage individually. But for the most part, it seems like uh, each primary squad is set up and they only fly together in a formation and that's it. Uh, you can't necessarily take the fighters off of it and tell them to go engage some fighters somewhere else. It doesn't seem to want to work that way. Which is interesting, but it seems a bit limiting as well. Although it's, it could be an attempt to reduce a lot of the uh, reduce a lot of the micromanagement stuff that we have in other games of this type. Five by five. It would help. It honestly would help though if the uh, if I go into the options here, under controls, there's pretty much nothing. This is what we have for options. We have no game options right now. Uh, graphics options are pretty pretty bare bones for the most part. Sound, same thing. We just have like master sound and not too much. And I'd like to see a lot more options along the lines of uh, just like the. Oh, here we go. Uh, what the hell? Cap ships fields are down, so I can kind of follow along here, although it's a bit of a pain. It's too bad I can't just drive them. Like, this capital ship is escaping. The only way we're going to catch up to him, and now we're suddenly disengaging, and I don't know why. There shouldn't... They, I didn't tell them to disengage. Ah, so the controls are definitely pretty basic Movement and need to be worked on, I would say. Like, I'm again, you see, I was able to select these two, but now I can't it again. There we go. I was able to for a second there. But I'm not able to select anyone else. I can maybe select the entire squad, Converging but not the individuals. Point. So it definitely needs to be, and now for some reason this guy is completely disengaging. So the controls are definitely a little freaking awkward, to say the least right now. So I do hope they get improved over time. Like, I don't think we're going to be able to chase this guy down, because right, right appears to be for movement. 
but if you click on the enemy, usually it would go to they would select to attack. Left clicking would be selection, so it's a real pain in the ass for movement and attack to be on the same damn thing. Because sometimes you're trying to click on an enemy to just engage them and they were moving instead and it's a real pain in the ass, it really is. But, uh, well, we'll have to see how things go. I do have... and we aren't moving anymore. Huh. Five, five, five. Or are we moving but we're just not fast enough? I can't tell, it's space. No, there we go. We are. Yeah, we're never gonna catch him. Unless I can engage, unless I can tell my individual faster units, my fighters, to go in there and fight him, which is not gonna happen right now. Converging at indicated point. Like here we go. Now I finally was able to select the little buggers and tell them to move up. Like I don't want to select the capital ship. I trying to get fighters point. here, but it's not letting me. It's a pain in the ass. Movement order acknowledged. Like, come on, I'm clicking on the ship here. I want you to fight the ship. I don't want you to freaking move. So they definitely need to change things up a bit when it comes to the controls. I'm think trying to think how it would work out for that, though. What would be a good way to actually change this around so we wouldn't be having these difficulties? Hmm. Let me try something. Movement order acknowledged. Five by five. I'm gonna have them warp in and we're just gonna destroy this little bugger. So he was trying to escape, but we just warped in here. And now hopefully we'll take him out. Yes, focus the camera. Seriously, stop pausing the fucking game every time I run into a goddamn enemy unit. It's really annoying. Like, really annoying. Oh my god. Okay, Movement let's go ahead and jump this guy. We actually want to see it happen this time. So there definitely needs to be some refinement with the uh, controls. But on all in all, they're not too bad. So this is what happens when our units jump. I create a field around them and then just kind of jump in and engage. Let me see if I can pause this for a second. Looks like one of them is engaging and the rest are just kind of waiting. Like seriously, we have an enemy right here. Why are you waiting? This is why I like the uh, kind of aggressive defensive stances that some games have. Oh, my cap ship shields here are down. Like, are we even firing at this guy here? Oh, see, so he finally destroyed him. Oh, here comes the explosion. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we finally managed to freaking destroy the guy, but it was a pain Open in the ass. Acknowledged. So there def I would definitely like to see a lot more options for one, not constantly pausing every time we engage an enemy. That's just really, really damn annoying. Right now, I'm trying to move on the actual map, but it's not letting me because I'm attached to this ship. And the only way I can seem to get out of it is just to hit escape and go to the main menu for right now, at least. Wow, this guy's way the hell out here, isn't he? Movement order acknowledged. Five by five. Five by five. Cool down. So these, we have another 71 seconds before these guys will be able to jump here. Movement order acknowledged. Oh, well, they're really set to move over here. And it's kind of funny how this is indicating the enemy's position, but how the hell do we know that? I'm sure once we have the actual instance areas, we'll be able to build things like radar stations or something to detect enemy forces. Uh, so that they will have like a vague idea like this of where they happen to be. Not necessarily of the composition of their forces, but at least where they're at. Which will hopefully make things more interesting for that. And just being handed where they're actually hiding. Alright. 
But yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more control over our actual units and such. But this is a fairly early alpha, so I'm not entirely surprised if there ain't. And of course, it could just be my own ridiculous amounts of derp. But if I right click, if I select a unit, right click on an enemy, they should engage the enemy. Uh, ships that are faster should, you know, shoot forward and engage. They shouldn't be sticking, like, fighters shouldn't be staring, standing around their capital ships when they're supposed to be engaging something. Like, they should be priority targeting other fighters, and then they should be going for anything, uh, you know, going up that chain for the highest, what the hell, uh, up to cruisers and then battleships and capital ships at the end. They shouldn't just be kind of dicking around, firing, staying in that one formation and firing. It's definitely more convenient for reducing micromanagement, uh, but it's a bit of a, still a bit of a pain in the ass when I want them to be, Like when I want my fighters to disengage off the capital ships and chase after a fleeing enemy. Alright. Movement order acknowledged. Converging at indicated point. There we go. Five by five. Uh oh, enemy wing spotted. Five by five. They're jumping in. Let me actually jump on over to them quickly, zoom in. I want to see the whole fleet jumping and then hop to them. Also, it would, it's like right now we don't really have any abilities for these commanders. Uh, eventually we will. But still. Here we are. Yeah, like you can see, sometimes it works where they will engage, but when I had all of these, I just selected everyone and told them to engage, but only the th uh, squad number three actually obeyed. And now with this, I tried to select one and have them engage, and instead it went for a movement order. Five by five. There we go. Now they're properly going at them. So, there definitely needs to be some improvement for that, but all in all, it's not too bad. It's definitely interesting to be able to build our own ships, customize what weapons we have. Uh, when we have more interesting support modules, that'll make things even more intriguing. Definitely brings to mind games like uh, Galsiv and others like that, where we can customize our own kind of ship designs and throw them out there and let them wreak havoc on our enemies. There have been a couple others who tried that as well and did a pretty good job of it, although at times they... We could customize their ships, but we wouldn't battle them in real time, kind of like this. They would be instanced or have some other kind of weird way to engage enemies, so... Yeah, wasn't much of a fan of that. Like, this style of space combat is definitely my favorite. Now, this could be potentially an issue. This could be a problem. Uh, because we have allies on both sides of this thing, and they could potentially uh, friendly fire each other. Looks like our ship here is going down. We are probably going to lose this cap ship here in two seconds. But hey, at least we can enjoy uh, watching this battle. Oh, yep, there it goes. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, actually, no, I know exactly how I feel about that. The current destruction animation for ships, I'm not a fan of it at all. They just change models, and then there's a kind of a lame explosion uh, animation that takes place. So, eh, that's boring. Hopefully they will uh, change it up so that it's a little more interesting. Why are my guns not firing? Oh, because they're set to manual, not automatic. That's why. They were still set to manual targeting. Which apparently works differently than I thought. Manual targeting would be for targeting each individual subsystem. Converging at indicated point. Five by five. Let's change. Let's see if we can Movement turn ourselves left here. That way, all of our Converging weapons can come to bear point. on the enemies. There we go. That's our perfect position. Oh, this one got wiped out too. So we are not doing good. Five by five.
So yeah, these guys are actually roaming around in their little fighter group as well. Like, I would love to angle my ship, angle the ship myself. Use W, like, select the capital ship, use WASD to kind of fly it around a little bit and direct the cannons where I need them. Uh, because the precision controls here, well, not that precise. Converging at indicated Where is point. our, is this, all that's left is our one cap ship now? Damn, they really wiped out our fleet, didn't they? Like, this also seems like the kind of ship that would house fighters. Although it doesn't appear to right now. Yeah, we are getting absolutely obliterated now. Like, I want them to focus fire on this thing, but they're not... They're not maneuvering themselves to the optimal position for their weapons. They're just kind of hovering around and... Like, I don't want him to be facing forwards that all of his guns are to bear, and what the hell just popped up here? Was that the debug? Oh, shit. Oh! Apparently that quit the entire game. Uh, okay, so I accidentally opened the command console, and it just, well, uh, blocked half my damn screen, and then in an attempt to get out of it, it instead exited the game. Unless that was a debug issue where we encountered a bug, the game was freezing, so it was pulling that up to try and, I don't know, figure out what was going on or something. Give me a warning or a debug error. I don't really know what the hell happened there. Either way, I lost horribly. We created my, we created our fleet, and we just got obliterated. So it seems like RTS-wise, I am just not doing very good at all. But the cl controls are definitely seem to be an issue when it comes to that. And I've said that enough tonight. I really have. So I'm going to kind of drop that as, as is. Now, there's not too much to the game right now. But it is pretty reasonably priced. Like 17, uh, 17.99. What's 17.99? Yeah, 17.99. 18 bucks. 18 bucks isn't very much uh, for a good RTS. It's good, especially a good space RTS. Uh, especially with everything that they are saying they want to put in there eventually. Definitely get a Homeworld-esque style feel to it. Uh, especially once we get the abilities for our commanders and such. Maybe we'll have some, uh, better support abilities or support, uh, what the hell, units that could repair our shields or haul slowly over time or something. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So definitely there has there is an interesting uh, future to this game. We'll just have to keep on watching. Uh, definitely do check it out if you are so inclined. And I will have the link to their forums uh, in the description down below. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a great one. And I will see you all another time with some shallow space. Peace out, everybody.